On the 1st of March, a man entered Bengaluru's Rameshwaram Cafe, left a bag full of explosives and left. He triggered a blast that injured nine people and sent waves of shock across the entire country. This isn't something that happens in India often. Some 20 days on, we might be closer to finding out who this man was. And if reports are to be believed, you may have seen this footage already, but I want you to look at it again. To blend in with the crowd, the man wore a baseball cap. Little did he know that this cap would be his undoing. He might have thought he was being sly, but he left behind a trail of evidence, a trail of CCTV footage. The Central Crime Branch and the National Investigation Agency have been investigating it. They have reportedly found that after leaving the cafe, the man took a bus. This bus also had cameras and captured the suspect. The man then entered a religious site about three kilometers away from the cafe, and there he abandoned his cap, but it was too late for that. He had already been seen wearing it for long enough. I keep coming back to the cap because it wasn't an ordinary one. It was a limited edition series of merchandise from a youth brand. And the last we checked, only 400 pieces had been sold. Most importantly, the brand only had presence across South India through retail stores and online sales. And each cap has a serial number, by the way, which can be traced right to the point of sale. And that is what the reports are saying. And this gave the police a lead towards the blast suspect. They tracked down the store that had sold the cap Luckily, the store also had CCTV footage of the day the sale was made. The investigators identified the same man who had entered the cafe on the 1st of March. Now, who is this man? Do we have a name? Yes, we do. It's Musafir, Musavir Hussein Shazib. He works for Islamic State Linked Terror Module. He has been on the radar of the investigative agencies for the last four years. He has a bounty of five lakh rupees on his head. So was it really Shazib who carried out the blast? We don't know for sure. There is another man who is being linked. His name is Abdul Mateen Taha. These two men are notorious members of the Shivamoga ISIS module. They have reportedly led over a dozen youths in meetings promoting the ISIS ideology. And that's not all. These two are also accused of creating an ISIS-inspired terrorist gang, which had members from Kerala, Tamil Nadu, also Karnataka. It's have been arrested by the National Investigation Agency. Will Shazib and Taha meet the same fate? Let's see what the authorities are saying. Over a week ago, the Home Minister of Karnataka had hinted at a lead in the matter. He had said, and I'm quoting, listen in. We get that reaction in just a bit. What's more, investigators have found hair samples of the suspect in the baseball cap. It can be used for a DNA match to find the culprit. And if the reports are correct, we should have a name soon enough. And if it is indeed someone linked to the ISIS, the incident may also help uncover a bigger and deeper circuit.